Blizzard, if you fucking try to reverse engineer Bobby's maze of mirrors. Oh, wait a second. Is that my helmet? No, it's not my helmet. Oh my God. It's the helmet I already had. And then you go, and, oh wait, did my shoulders? Oh no, they're not. Shit. The next thing I want to talk about is actually this situation here. Blizzard reveals specific details on tier sets in patch 9.2. Character catalyst date, tier tokens returning. The tier set crafting will open eight weeks after the content update. The creation catalyst charges are global, which means that an alt multiple weeks into the expansion will have multiple charges and craft is set almost immediately. That's good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Double the loot was dropping from tier bosses on PTR. Uh, bosses will drop tier tokens instead of dropping to pieces directly. Tier tokens are just simply better because they offer more flexibility and there's less dead items. Eight weeks already. We're going to talk about that, but let me just go ahead and go through the whole post. These are just the highlights of it. So this is what Blizzard said. Uh, Hi, friends. I'm a senior game designer on the systems team. I've been working on WoW for 14 years now, and I've worked through a few PTR cycles like this one. In this post, I'd like to talk about some of what we're doing in the turn of these end, that you'll see updates coming to the PTR over the next couple of weeks. Okay, great. And uh, we're tweaking different aspects of how you acquire and fill out your class sets based on your feedback. So this one right here, uh, listen to this based on your feedback so that means if you don't like this fucking eight week shit after we see it if you don't like this eight week shit after you see it let them know because that's what's uh that's what's got to happen first and foremost from the start of the ptr we've intended to have set pieces drop from a separate loot table on each boss that drops them uh so guaranteed so you're guaranteed to see many set pieces over time that's a good thing. It's always annoying whenever you know that you're getting a set piece instead of the boss, and it makes the bosses that drop tier sets feel better, right? It makes them, like, you get more excited to get to them because you get all the normal loot and you get that extra thing on top of it. So that is a good thing. I'm happy about that. These class sets are a highlight of the content update, and we don't want to run a bad luck to cause a raid team to complete a full clear and realize they only got a very small number of set pieces. Uh, the PTR is there for testing, and rather unfortunately, you all found a nasty bug that doubled the loot tables. Many of you sent in inquiries and bug reports about raid bosses dropping twice as much loot as expected on PTR, and that assist is appreciated. Once we fix the bug, uh, th you know what this reminds me of about fixing the bug? This is what it reminds me of. Apparently what happened is that he was laid off five years ago and no one ever told him about it. But through some kind of glitch in the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. So we just went ahead and fixed the glitch. Bro, I don't know how many times I've seen that fucking movie, man. That's, it is so, it is so fucking good. Yeah, so we fixed the glitch. And now you're not getting half, you, you're getting half as much loot. That's what it is. Once we fix the bug again in a couple of weeks, you just expect a normal amount of total drops. Still with those set guaranteed pieces, similar ratio to the bug loot table. It's just fewer total items. Please don't stop reading. Don't stop reading here. But wait, there's more. Ca the creation catalyst. We've been designing this tier with a future eventuality in mind. If you haven't heard of it yet, the new in-game gear transformer called the Creation Catalyst, will come online eight weeks after the content update if all goes according to plan. The Creation Catalyst will allow you to create set gear that you haven't yet gotten from raid bosses or the Great Vault, and it will be a swift way to gear up your alt later in the patch. The Catalyst exists as an answer to the problems that we've had with class sets in the past, where either acquisition was too fast and threw off content, or painfully slow and annoying. Your voices and frustration with those systems are the reason why we're building the Catalyst today. It's powered by Cosmic Flux, which you'll find easy enough to gather for this purpose. Cosmic Flux should be taken to the Rune Carver and make legendary gear. Okay, so this is the Soul Lash of 9.2. That's what it seems like. Uh, seems like yeah, later in the patch. So we talk about that. L let me just finish this thing about the creation catalyst and i'm going to talk about the eight week thing okay the creation catalyst is going to have an internal cooldown which is a global charge that accumulates this isn't the case where it's a personal cooldown that you can miss and fall behind everybody's got the same number of charges at a given time you're all on a level playing field that's good man like i hate whenever like you know like in new world where you felt like you'd want to log on exactly within 24 hours so you could open the chests again and not lose time
uh, at the beginning of the game like we did this with elite chess runs it's so fucking annoying man like just let the shit accumulate like i think letting things accumulate is way better and it's easier on the players you don't need to make a uh, uh a strategy for it of course there's a cooldown no the thing with the cooldown is fine like i'm okay with that it has a cooldown like, you're not going to sit there and just farm out your whole tier set the first day that this shit comes online. That's not really, like, good gameplay that you just do that. Like, I actually, I don't necessarily hate the cooldown, but I haven't played it yet. So, I don't know how oppressive or annoying or time gatey uh, the cooldown really is. So, that's all to be determined. Of course. This isn't a case where it's a personal cooldown that you could miss and fall behind. Everybody's got the same number of charges, so you're on a level playing field. Again, uh, this isn't an arbitrary decision. By putting an accumulating charge on a catalyst, we avoid making it so that the right way to play is to focus on gathering flux and not use it for legendaries or worry about gear grinding as much as human possible so that you can still make your full set the moment the creation catalyst unlocks. You'll be able to make one piece at a time, of course, but then alts and players who come along later in the tier will find that they can create multiple set pieces right away, which fulfills its role as a catch-up mechanism. So, eight weeks after the release of the patch. So, like, I'm assuming that the patch is going to get released, and then two weeks after the patch gets released, that's when we have uh, the raid come out, because that's usually what happens. I feel like it should come out a little bit earlier after the raid comes out because six weeks of like not getting like most people after six weeks of not getting their loot, they were gone two weeks ago, three weeks ago. They're already fucking pissed off. They're tired. They're they're demoralized from raiding. And eight weeks, yeah, it should be six weeks, not eight. Like, I don't think that necessarily this should go live on day one, but at the same time, it should be a little bit shorter to where you can get the cool pieces, but you still have the thing to look forward to just a little bit later. I think that would be fine. And honestly, like, it's one of those things where really, like, we could debate about, like, four, six, eight, immediately on release, never in the game, like, whatever. Like, after these six weeks are over, we never think about this shit again because it's just in the game. So I don't think it's a big deal one way or another, but I feel like making it a little available a little bit earlier would probably actually be better for casual players because they're not going to get demoralized as quickly. Uh, people like they do a raid like this is the this is the the situation with personal loot, right? Is you do a raid and you do it with personal loot and like let's say you get an item and it's the slot that your legendary is in so you don't want to use that item and then the other item you get out of the raid is a ring who cares or you get a trinket that's like the worst uh the worst one like how many are you gonna do that after like it's it's nuts man like it makes personal loot makes it feel like you're a loser master loot makes you hate your raid members but yo it's better for you to hate your raid members than hate the game. That's the way I look at it. It's better, it's better. Hate hate your guildmaster. In my opinion, I think that it's just it 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 is, in my opinion, indefensible that we don't have master loot back in the game for guild groups. It is indefensible. Like there is no argument that anybody has provided Blizzard or Blizzard Apologist all the all the same. Nobody has provided an argument why a guild group cannot decide who the loot goes to. Because every argument is fucking stupid. And it's made by somebody... Like, my favorite thing is I go on the forums, and I'm not going to go off on a huge tangent here, but I just want to say that this a lot of this shit would not be a problem if we had Master Loot. And you go on the forums, and you have people talk about, Oh... Man, I got my shit, like, I, I got fucked over by Master Loot, man. Like, I used to raid, and I got fucked, man. And you look at their armory, and they haven't raided in 12 years. Like, they have an achievement from Wrath of the Lich King in Nax 10 Man from 2011. But shut the fuck up. Why are you lying? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 
Like, this is the thing. Like, you don't, you never even had this happen. You're just lying. You say, oh, my friend told me. Oh, this my friend said this. Yeah, right. Your friend probably lying. Like, the thing is, to me, I can remember with Master Loot, every time that we would give loot, like, guess what? Whenever you give loot to one guy and the other guy doesn't get it, guess what the other guy thinks? CLC. He's calling CLC, Corrupt Loot Council. Oh, wow. But, like, he's not thinking about the fact that he was gone for two weeks. He's not thinking about the fact that he died on three fights. He's not thinking about the fact that he's a fucking trial in the guild. He's not thinking about the fact that he got a piece last week, last boss. No, because he's just thinking about himself. And this is the stupid shit that you always see about Master Loot. Like, please, Blizzard, like, shut the fuck up with this stupid ass shit that, like, everybody contributes the same. You have a guild that kills a boss, they put 200 pulls onto the boss, some random fucking dipshit trial shows up. No, they should not be on the same run. They should not be on the same roll as everybody else that put in there for 200 fucking, for 200 fucking pulls. And if you really think that, Blizzard, why don't the next time that you're gonna do payroll, just put all the fucking numbers in a hat and then have everybody draw out their own fucking number and see how people like it. Shut the fuck up and add the add Master Loot back into the game. It makes no goddamn sense and you know it. Anybody that raids know it. It's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard taking this shit out of the game. And you know the reason you only took it out of the game was to save money on tickets. Guess what? Sometimes you gotta spend money. Sometimes, talk to Phil. Talk to Phil, get some more people, there's some GMs in there to, to deal with the six problems that happen every year. Fuck you, Blizzard, for taking out Master Lou. You pussies. There's no reason for it. And you know it. And you fucking know it. It's a joke. Oh, guild leaders d do not punish their homies? Then join a new guild, bitch. What do you think, they got you in chains? Then join a new guild if that's going to happen to you. You don't like your guild? Join another guild. What do you think this is? You want a contract? You're so stupid. Aren't you well known for stealing with Master Loot? Yeah, but it wasn't for my guild, so it wouldn't have never happened. I think they should let anybody do Master Loot. Like, you're going to join a raid, and it's Master Loot. You fuck it, and you don't know what the loot rules are. I mean, bruh, come on. That's your fault. But at the same time, at the same time, I can understand why they got rid of it for just like pugs, right? Because like they didn't want to have to deal with all the tickets. It's annoying. There's like all kinds of like these like weird uh, loopholes that like I made a whole video about that. It was a really long video and I didn't even cover everything about how to like uh, ninja shit. And uh, the fact is that there were ninja problems. People get pissed off. And I think honestly, they just tried, they got rid of it to save money on fucking tickets. However, the guild master loot is not the same fucking thing. It's not the same fucking thing as a pug. Yeah, I, like, I, I know, uh, I never ninja from my fucking guild. Like, not even I would do that. Some people would. Oh my god. Maybe you might actually have to do your job. Imagine that. I claim every item that drops whenever I'm the leader. Well, well, yeah. Why do you think I did the raid? Why would I, sh why would I be there? What about guilds ninja looting from people they pugged that happened to me? If you join a guild raid and you're not in the guild and it's master loot, you know? I mean, you know what I, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying here? That's like a fucking, that's like a 100, like there's 100% and then there's like guild groups and then there's like guild groups looking for pugs and there's guild group looking for pugs that do a mass loot and there's guild groups looking for pugs that are doing mass loot that are gonna steal your stuff, man. This is like infinitesimal. Like how many times does this happen? Probably not a lot. Just don't fucking, not at all, dude. No, man. You're like, you don't understand, man. Like, I have no accountability for myself. Like, I, it's not my fault. Guys, it's not my fault if I join a raid and I say I'm okay with the loot rules and, and then it does, it happens, it happens and then somebody lies to me even though, like, it was obvious that it was going to happen. You know what I mean? Listen, the Blizzard solution to bad social experiences is to just remove the system that people had the social experience in. Problem solved. Look at that. Yeah, just get rid of the whole thing. Uh, let's talk about this, okay? Like, I honestly, 
I don't know where this came from. We're switching to tokens. So again, we're not having actual individual items drop. We're having tokens drop. That's a good thing. We've seen a lot of feedback, both from players on the PTR and our colleagues internally. Imagine that, feedback about doing the raid. Imagine how much better Corthia would be if this same thing fucking happened there. Uh, making the case for set pieces dropping as tokens rather than discrete items. Uh, while both ways of doing it have pros and cons, we've decided that bosses drop. Actually, there's really no pro. There's no pros for the player if it drops as an item. Yeah, there's no pros. There's nothing good about that. It's just bad, period. We've decided to have bosses drop set slot tokens in Eternity's End. First, let's talk about the design side of things. Uh, this is great, though. Like, honestly, uh, a lot of people that, uh, like, what they're really saying is, like, this is what we was going to do, and y'all didn't want it, and we didn't want it, so now it's not going to happen. That's a good thing. That's actually a good thing. That's a great thing. It's an amazing thing. Like, the first time, like, we've had tier sets. The thing is, like, y'all, some people are like, oh, man, I remember how back it used to be, man. We, you know, we had T set, man. Oh, we... But the fact is, man, when the fuck was the last time we really had tier sets? I'll tell you something. It's it fucking BWL. It's BW fucking L. Because in AQ, you had fucking tier tokens. That's it. It was literally in the game for two raid tiers. And even Nax had tier tokens. You had Desecrated Wasteguard. Because I remember, because I had to go up against a rogue. Because it was a rogue and a warrior uh, on the Nax token in Vanilla WoW. And I hated rogues. And I think that's like half of the reason why. TBC2? Yes, TBC. Every single uh, every single raid tier, every drop was for... Uh, there were a couple of items, I think, that were only usable by like one class as like kind of almost flavor items. I think there's, there's one of those in, in AQ and also Nax for Paladins, for example. But other than that, uh, we've had tokens for the whole fucking time. Yeah, we've had tokens for the whole game, and Blizzard decided back literally in AQ20 and AQ40 that tokens were just, it's just a better system, and that's what we have. Yeah, WAD had tokens, had to yeah, Legion, they got rid of them. Uh, Legion, they got rid of tokens. Oh, bro, like, Le Legion was Las Vegas, man. Like, let's be honest, like, there was so much stupid shit that, that went into that. Why is a yeah one arm bandit? Yeah, a tier token they're superior. Yeah, absolutely. TOS had token, but Antorus didn't. Yeah, I stopped rating in TOS, so I don't remember how it was in Antorus anyway. Let's look at this. Uh, when it comes to designs like this one, uh, we think about all the different likely scenarios for the player experience. For example, how does set drops work out if a player, uh, for a player who is the only mage in their raid group? How do we see that going and feeling if that person is the only mage in six consecutive uh, weeks of raiding? What about a scenario where the raid has seven mages? We don't want it to be more difficult for any particular player in a particular situation to get, to get set pieces from boss drops and trades, especially as you go later into the patch and some players already have them, so they trade them uh, back over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously that feels like shit. And I'm really glad that they bring this up because, like, feels like shit is one of the biggest problems with WoW. That's one of the biggest fucking things that's wrong with the game is that, oh, what's your problem with this system? It feels like shit. What's your problem with this thing? Well, it feels like shit. Like, that's the thing. So if they're thinking about what feels like shit then that's good. This is a good thing. I'm glad about this. Uh, I'm really glad. Like, this is actually a good blue post. The eight-week thing, that's sus. But everything else, solid Ws. Solid Ws. Everything here that I've read so far is actually good. And you know if I was mad, the video would get more views. So it's in my best interest to get mad. Like, they have a fucking uh, thumbnail. But, like, actually, it's like... Y you know? Like, that's... The thing is, like, yeah, somebody's gonna want to look at you, like, fucking act, look, acting like Bowser. Who's make the what the fuck time get it eight weeks? Yeah, I mean, that was stu that is stupid. Like, that definitely is stupid. And I'm sure my editors will probably clickbait that because that will get people to click on the video. Right, yeah, definitely. Listen, let's go back over here. In addition to the design considerations, there's also technical limitations we have to tackle. Items which are dropped as a token are very different from the perspective of the game code than items which are equipable by a player. 
but not quite as smart. As a result, some of the work we do to make uh, sure loot was equipable and fair wasn't quite as effective with them. The lesson we drew with how Castle Nathria played out. As a result, we've been sacrificing some important reliability features by using tokens. However, due to a heroic assist from our hardworking engineering team, those restrictions have been removed and tokens are fully first class citizens on the back. Well, that's great. Yeah, that's great. They unironically fixed the glitch. Awesome. Good. Are they blaming the code? No. They just, all they're saying is like, this was a problem that we had and we fixed the problem. So there it is. Why it takes long for this to happen? Because Blizzard thought that Azerite armor would replace tier sets. The thing is, like, what you don't remember is, like, in Legion, do you remember 222? Remember 24? Everybody forgets about this. People forget about it. And then, uh, to fucking five years later, they get mad because they forgot about it. Guess what? You're going to learn today. So, back in Antorus, back in TOS, you had tier sets that people would use at the same time so you'd have a guy that would use the nighthold two set the tomb of sargeras two set and maybe also the antorus two set or he would use the nighthold i remember hunters this was like a big thing i believe uh using the nighthold two set and the tomb of sargeras four set so they would do that. You have you have six slots locked down right there. You've got your weapon that's locked down because it's an artifact weapon. You've got your uh, two legendary slots locked down because they're the legendary slot. You've got probably your trinket locked down because it's an unstable arcano crystal. And if you're a fury warrior, you've got the other trinket locked down because you've got to use that fo that convergence of fates trinket from Nighthold, which honestly I thought was really fucking cool. I love that trinket. So. You had so many locked down pieces in your gear that people didn't really like that. They, they thought it sucked. So Blizzard tried to change that with Azerite armor. Turns out, like a monkey in a burning house and always got to do was put it out with gasoline. They didn't help. It made it worse. And I think now they've realized that and we're getting tier sets back. Now, I've said this before. I'm not going to congratulate Blizzard on giving us back something that they took away. I don't want to do that. That's how they trick you. That's how they get you. So I'm not going to do that. But what I will say is that there was logic behind removing them. Even though I disagreed with it. And it didn't work. And it sucked. And it was also really bad. On top of sucking, it was also really bad. <sighs> Tokens aren't a magic bullet here, but we agree with these changes. They'll hopefully feel better and distribute sec gear more equitably or more so than discrete items would have. True. Um, this is another experiment. We've done tokens in the past, but never with the full structure of parallel loot and the safeguard of the catalyst. The thing is that people just want to get their tier set. Just let people get their tier set. Blizzard, if you fucking try to reverse engineer some weird convoluted system in Bobby's maze of mirrors, Bobby's hall of mirrors. Oh, wait a second. Is that my helmet? No, it's not my helmet. Oh my God. It's the helmet I already had. And then you go and, oh wait, did my shoulders? Oh no, they're not. Shit. You know, that's just going to, yeah, that's just going to piss people off. Just let people get the fucking sets and keep the chase items somewhere else. I think that the game does need chase items, 100%. There have been good chase items and bad chase items in the, in the history of WoW. A bad chase item was Unstable Arcano Crystal. A good chase item was Deathbringer's Will. How do you make those two things work? It's hard to do, and I'm not entirely sure how to do it. But it's definitely something that needs to happen. Introduce more slots. I said this earlier today, and when I was just playing the game, uh, is I think that every single class should have its own special slot. So, like, for example, it would be right here. So it'd be your main hand, your offhand, and it'd be, like, one extra slot right here. This would be, like, your class. This would be, like, your class-specific set. So, like, warriors get a scabbard, mages get a fucking tome, paladins get a libram, DKs get a sigil, druids get an idol, hunters get a quiver, um, warlocks get, uh, a, 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 you know, a fucking soul stone or something like that, uh, shamans get a totem, 
Um, demon hunters get a new fucking blindfold or some shit. I don't fucking know. Uh, monks get a, a keg of beer or something like that. That would be cool. A class, yeah, a class quest, something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, demon hunters get, like, a new set of wings. And, like, you can change it. Things like that. Like, uh, it would be great. Rogues, they get, like, a poison vial. Or, or they get a shrieking, you know, like a thrown weapon. A ninja shit. That's what they used to have. Uh, in, in many tiers, uh, rogues had something like that. And, uh, rogues get a strap on? No, they're, they're the ones receiving it. Uh, anyway... What I'm really trying to get at here is that I would like to see another slot. I would love to see another slot. It would be great. But until we try tokens, we won't know how successful or not they are in that world. Uh, I mean, like, I don't know how is, how is it really that hard to fucking figure out. Like, literally, like, y'all had this in, like, ICC and, like, other shit. Like, how is this really that complicated? But, uh, like, I mean, what is this, like, an unknown entity? Like, we have 15 years experience. Can't you extrapolate? Like, I feel like it's obvious tokens are better. Uh, should you see a switch go over from, from token drops, next PTR update, we'll be listening to your voices, 9.2 progresses. Thank you. We really appreciate all the testing and feedback we've seen so far, and we're looking forward to your reaction to these coming changes. We want to hear everything you have to say about the tier ecosystem, obtaining tier, their effects, many of which have changed already. Trading, both what you like and what you don't like. It's immeasurably helpful to us. Honestly, I think that this person did two really, really good things. Number one, they didn't say what their fucking name was. So people can't go on Twitter and harass them. That was a really smart decision. The second thing that they did is that they actually were fucking honest. They were honest that like, yeah, y'all didn't like this. We didn't like this. This is something that we're not doing anymore. That's a good solution. And just in general, this post is good. This is an actual, like, unironic good post about 9.2. And the best thing about it is it's a good post about systems. Imagine that. Imagine, whoa! Imagine Blizzard making a good post about systems before they get released. Because this is the kind of thing that we expect to read in patch 9.2.5. This is good. Good job, Blizzard. Great communication. I'm happy. Yeah, it's good. Don't worry, something will get fucked. Yeah, but it won't probably won't be this. So yeah, I'm happy. Or they reek of desperation. Good. Make them beg for it. I'm happy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, d just yeah, it's th it's it's good, and this is fine. Uh, this, uh, write-up actually makes me consider playing WoW again. It's very grounded and honest. Yeah, it's just some straight-up, it's some straight-up talk. It's not bullshit. And that's, that's great. I'm happy. Can we trade tier tokens or not? Yeah, you can. You can trade them. So, it's not WoW saved. It's not, oh, everything's back to normal. It's not, oh, Blizzard's the best company in the world. It's a good post. And you should acknowledge that. It's good. Or at least not you should. I mean, you could disagree with me, right? I mean, then whatever. But, like... If you feel the way I feel, then I think you should acknowledge it's a good post. Hopefully we get more of this. And if we don't, then we get fucking complain. Go play another game. We go play Lost Ark. Who gives a fuck? Oh, they're going to fuck us around? Oh, just go play Final Fantasy. Who, who cares, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, yeah there's no reason to, to stress out about it if it's not if it's not good. It is, it is what it is. Yeah, vote with your wallet. That's one way to say it. Yeah, vote with your wallet. Or vote with your time. Either way, right? Just tell them how you feel.